So hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a very different video today where I'm going to talk to you about a reading challenge that I am setting myself to do over the summer. Now you may have already guessed by the title of this video that this challenge is about classics. Now over the months of July, August and September, even though I don't know if you count September as summer, but anyway I'm going to go with it. These next three months I am going to aim to read around about a classic every three weeks maybe. So if you want to get on board with this then please do post your video responses on what you would like to read over the summer. They must be classics but yeah I'll get on and show you what I hope to be reading every three weeks. So the first book um, I am reading for the Booktubeathon and it is Jane Austen's Lady Susan, The Watsons and Sanderton. Now this is Jane Austen's unfinished novels, which I explained all about in the in my Booktubeathon Reads video. Um, this has been on my shelf for ages. I love Jane Austen, and the main reason I'm making this video and the main reason I want to read more classics over the summer is because obviously I've just finished my English literature degree, and I kind of want to continue the studying of literature. I still want to keep reading as many classics as possible. So I love Jane Austen, that's why this is my number one choice and I'm going to be reading this next week actually for the readathon. so fingers crossed this goes well. The next book which will take me probably three weeks, more, maybe more, is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Now this book is over a thousand pages, if I can get this read that would be fantastic but that's why I'm giving myself three months because the next three books I'm going to show you are huge. So this is probably the biggest out of all of them. Um, there's so, so many pages in this and the font is like literally tiny and I'm so excited to read this though guys. I've um, only seen the film, I've not seen the musical or read the book so I definitely want to just get, dive straight into this. And yeah, if you've read this let me know how easy it is to read and did you enjoy it? And I'm so looking forward to reading this and I don't know if I'm going to be reading this after um, the Jane Austen work that I'm going to finish next but um, yeah if you think I should read this next after my Jane Austen read then let me know as well. Okay, okay sorry can't speak there. Um, the next book that I aim to get read over this classical summer reads is Leo Tolstoy's Anna Karenina. Now I got this for my birthday this at the start of the year which was in January and I still haven't read it yet. The writing for this is absolutely minuscule as well, I don't know if you can see that. And I, I don't know how many pages, oh wait there are 800 pages in this, so this is big as well. But the thing is I've never ever seen the film or really heard anything about it, I'm not really sure what it's about. And I've never read any Tolstoy before. So I am desperate to read this. and. Let me know if you've read this as well. It's interesting that both Lamers and Anna Karenina are both, they're non-English novels, they've been translated from the French and the Russian, so it'd be interesting to see how the translations work for me. Um, if, you had have you, if you have read Anna Karenina, please let me know as well. And yeah, I'm really excited to read this, but as it's such a big book, uh, that's why I'm kind of choosing, there's not many classics on my reading list this summer because I'm choosing all the big ones. So. I think this will take me about three weeks to a month as well, so <laughs> this is looking good. But um, yes, lots of big books and yes, the next book that I aim to read and the final book is Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities. Now, this is I've, I also got this for my birthday in January, which was ages ago and I meant to read it. I meant to have read it like at the start of the year, but I didn't because... Again, writing is tiny, and Dickens, I've always had a love-hate relationship with Dickens. Um, I loved Great Expectations, but then his other books I found really hard to get into, so I've not actually tried this yet, um, but I'm desperate to. And one of the main reasons I want to read this is because it's referenced so much in Cassandra Clare's The Infernal Devices trilogy, and that's such a sad reason. I should want to read this because it's Dickens, but alas, I don't. But yes. This is quite, I, I think this will be quite a challenge as well, which is why I'm glad that I've set myself three months to get through all of these four classics. And yeah, so guys, those are my four classical reads for the summer. 
If you want me to continue this challenge and maybe do it in the autumn or winter, please let me know. And if you want to get on board with this and read more classics this summer, uh, please tell me in the comments what you want to read and if you want to make a video response that would be great as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and fingers crossed I get through all these classics. It would be amazing if I managed to. And yeah, I hope you have a great day guys and I'll see you later. Bye.